In this video, we're going to have a look at matrix subtraction and multiplication by a scalar. In this particular example, we're given the matrix A equals 2, negative 5, 1, 9, and the matrix B equals 3, 2, 6, negative 1, and we're asked to find 3A minus 7B. Before we take up this question together, go ahead and try it on your own. So here's what you're going to have to do. First of all, you need to find the matrix 3A, and you need to find the matrix 7B, so that then you can go ahead and subtract them. Remember that in order to multiply a matrix by a scalar, so by the number out front, so for example to find 3A, you have to multiply each entry in the matrix by that number. So once you've found 3A and 7B, what you then have to do is subtract 7B from 3A. In order to subtract matrices, you subtract entries in like positions. So for example, you subtract the entries in row 1, column 1, from one another, and then you subtract the entries in row 1, column 2, from one another, and so on. So go ahead, try this out, and we'll continue together once you're done. So hopefully you've had a chance to try this. Let's go ahead and take it up together. So first of all, let's write down what we're going to be doing, which is finding 3a minus 7b. Next, let's go ahead and replace a by what's given in the question, so 2, negative 5, 1, 9, and replace b by what's given in the question, so namely 3, 2, 6, negative 1. Our next step is to perform the scalar multiplication. So we're going to take the 3 out front of a and multiply it through by each entry in a. So we're going to get 3 times 2, we're going to get 3 times negative 5, 3 times 1, and 3 times 9. Next, we're going to multiply the 7 by each entry in the matrix B. Now, there's different ways of doing this question. Rather than doing 3a minus 7b, you can think of it as 3a plus negative 7b, and then multiply all of the entries in B by negative 7, and add the two resulting matrices together. But here, let's go ahead and treat this as matrix subtraction. So we're going to just multiply the entries in B by the 7 and then subtract the results. So again, the 7 multiplies each entry, so we get 7 times 3, 7 times 2, and so on. Next, let's go ahead and simplify in each matrix before we actually do the subtraction. So 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times negative 5 is negative 15, and so on. And similarly, in the matrix 7B, 3 times 7 is 21, um, 2 times 7 is 14, and so on. Now we have to perform the matrix subtraction. So remember that we're going to be subtracting terms in similar positions. So for example, if we consider row 1, column 1, we have a 6 in the matrix 3A and a 21 in the matrix 7B. So we have to subtract these entries, so we're going to get 6 minus 21. Similarly, in row 1, column 2, we have negative 15 minus 14. In row 2, column 1, we have 3 minus 42. And in row 2, column 2, we have 27 minus negative 7. Our final step is simply to simplify uh, by doing the arithmetic. So 6 minus 21 is negative 15, minus 15 minus 14 is minus 29, 3 minus 42 is negative 39, and 27 minus negative 7. The two negatives make a plus, so it's the same as 27 plus 7, so we end up with 34. So this is our final answer, so the answer for 3a minus 7b is negative 15, negative 29, negative 39, and positive 34. Let's just quickly recap the steps that we did to get to our solution. Again, the key was we had to multiply each of the matrices given by the scalar out front, which meant that we had to multiply each entry in the matrix by that number. Next, in order to do the subtraction, we had to subtract entries in the same position. Finally, we arrived at our answer after a little bit of simplifying, and that's all there is to it. Now, one last key point to make here is that matrices have to be the same size in order to do addition or subtraction. So here, we had two by two matrices that we were subtracting from one another, and that's perfectly fine. You could have also had three by three matrices, four by four, etc. It would have been the exact same concept, just a bit more work, because you would have had to multiply the scalar out front 
by a lot more entries, and then you would have had to do subtraction or addition of a lot more entries. But the concept would be the same. Now, if, for example, you had a 2x2 two two matrix and a 3x3, three three, there's no way to add or subtract those. So matrices have to be the same size in order for you to be able to add or subtract them.